a huge step forward in the return of supersonic travel. A jet broke the sound barrier during a test flight over the Mojave Desert today. And it's not just any jet, it is a Boom supersonic jet. Boom's headquarters will be right here in the Piedmont Triad. WFM News News Amber Lake watched the live stream of this historic moment and found out what it means for Greensboro. A day decades in the making. This will be the first time any civil aircraft has ever gone supersonic over the continental United States. Test control, you are go for Excel to Mach 1.1. Go for Excel, Castro Gate. Castro Gate, go for Excel. There we are. XB1 is supersonic, faster than the speed of sound. During a test flight in California, Boom Supersonic did something for the first time ever. What a really historic moment this is. The XB1 ascended above 35,000 feet, hitting supersonic speed over Mach 1.1. This happened three different times. It's the first time a civilian aircraft cracked the sound barrier. Leaders from Greensboro watch closely. A lot of kudos, a lot of congratulations to the Boom Supersonic team and all of their engineers who are just grinning from ear to ear and, and deservedly so, deservedly so. It's, it's a great milestone for Boom today. For those who worked on the jet, like Chief Flight Test Engineer Nick Shiroka, emotions ran high. I've been working on this program for years, not just me, so many people have poured years worth of effort into this moment and to just think that this is the first civil supersonic aircraft in American history. I'm just, I'm to the moon. Chief test pilot Tristan Geppetto Brandenburg led the charge in the cockpit. For Geppetto, his passion for aviation ties back to our state, saying his fondest memory in the air is when he flew to the Outer Banks with his family. A warm welcome waited for him as he gets out of the jet. Congratulations, you are uh, the fastest civil pilot alive. <laughs> the Boom Supersonic factory is already built and ready to go in Greensboro. The success of the XB-1 could just be the beginning of a promising future for supersonic travel. The Boom already have orders and pre-orders for 130 aircraft. Now they turn the page and, and Greensboro is a big part of their future because that's where the overture, where their passenger jet will be assembled. Uh, and ready for flight. So the future of supersonic travel is looking incredibly promising. What's special about this piece of airspace the XB-1 flew in today, it's the same spot where a pilot hit supersonic speed in the Concorde for the first time ever back in 1947.